Vernon's waiting inside. Hmm? How did you end up in the blue stripes? Why do you ask? Well, you're a beautiful girl and... So what? I'm not a nobleman's or merchant's daughter. All right. I may have the looks, but with my background, the best I could hope for was to be a maid in some roadside inn or to work at a brothel not unlike the local one, using my sweet lips to give blowjobs for a handful of coppers. So I'll stick to slitting elven throats, thank you. You know what you want, and I like that. You're quick to pounce, Witcher. Except you've got the wrong girl. I like naughty girls. Really? But Triss seems so sweet. All right. Roach has decided you're sailing with us. Fine. But it wouldn't be the best time even if I fancied you, which I don't. I need your sword, not your dick. Anyway, as far as I know, you're hardly indifferent to Triss Merigold. Does that bother you? I don't care. But I'm not about to mess with the sorceress. Nice area, isn't it? I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. Is your hatred towards the Scoia'tael some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoia'tael, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoia'tael are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Scoia'tael. Must be, if he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Foltest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. I'm a soldier because I'd do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from 80 paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. Do I have this right? Your father was called up, but he was old, so you stole his armor and took his place? I wish I had, but I never knew my father. How did it go? Did you get him? The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edirne. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Henselt's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. All right, let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lorido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents, 
and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Laredo's house. The first floor contains guest quarters. Geralt had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor. Laredo's bodyguards' quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor. The lion's den. Here, Laredo stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Laredo's mother, his cousin, and whores. <laughs> I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round at the trading post, Laredo always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Laredo had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horsens near the window. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Get to work. Vernon's way to the side. Trolls beat me! You mean you can't just screw anyone you want? Your chariot awaits, fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> you like playing hide and seek? I'll find you. Ah, we're playing. Come on, precious. You'll love it when I mount you. Yeah!
you what do you want the key to the upper quarters i know you have it you want to free the elven girl your efforts are in vain like an earthling's prophecy the seed has been planted and will soon shut up and give me the key the key the key uh, where did i put it <laughs>
It's a trap! Look out! Them events should have killed all you freaks! In shining armor, Make him die and shame this bitch! Where's your white stallion? What now, Lorido? Ball shriveling! Quick, untie me! Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Don't leave me here. Please. You don't look like a whore, Elf. My name is Morrill. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I'll not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. So, what month is it? Lammas. Autumn's begun. When they couldn't be. It was snowing. And the child's father is... This child has only a mother. When I realized I would... I... I can't make it. I think I... Damn! Her water broke. Geralt, change of plans. But... Back to the tower. I need a clean bed, hot water and some time. We can't be disturbed. Go get help! Warning! It's Schroeder in the tower! Yeah. Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way.
by a dwan. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, Influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorvin, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. The horseman ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of Jorvin. What's with Laredo and where's Vess? Laredo's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most... A boy, Geralt! A healthy what boy! Is Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Laredo kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Why did you do it? Why? this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. Thank you.